thank you very much for the welcome. And um, for my session, I'd just like to run through our kind of key areas of interest <coughs> on television for 2019. So um, we've got the full line up here, as you can see. Now we're not going to delve into each and every model here. You'll get to see them in the showcase a little bit later on. But I'll concentrate on our three kind of top models that we want to talk about, which is XG95, uh, full array 4K LCD HDR model, the AG9 4K OLED model, and I'll also talk a little bit about the ZG9, uh, our full array LED 8K model as well. So, a little bit on the TV product strategy, first of all. So, these are our kind of three key pillars of TV, essentially. Number one, of course, picture of sound quality. Number of two, design. Uh, and number three, the user experience. So when we talk about picture and sound, uh, what we want to achieve is to deliver the most immersive big screen experience with Sony's picture and sound technology. So delivering the best picture quality, of course, we've got our own unique technologies to do that, including uh, things like the processor, our panel technology, this year as well, we've got more of a focus around the sound and our sound from picture experience. And this is particularly important when we look at big screen TVs because there's more of a disconnect between where these uh, speakers are located and what's going on on the screen. So we're introducing a couple of new technologies here, including acoustic uh, multi-audio on LCD as well as OLED. But I'll go through that in a little bit more detail uh, in a few minutes. So what we want to deliver on picture side is the best viewing experience, really regardless of the panel type. We've got fantastic offering both in OLED and LCD, in 4K HDR and in 8K HDR as well. So one of the very important points is the relationships that we've developed to deliver the creator's intent. And we'll continue to develop these strong relationships with the content creators out there. For example, Sony Pictures, we work closely with Sony Pictures to deliver uh, the custom mode or the cinema mode uh, on our TVs. We've got the exclusive Netflix calibrated mode, ensuring that the Netflix content customers watch at home is as close as possible to how the creator intended it to be seen. Dolby Vision, and coming later in the year, following the software update with Dolby Atmos and selected TVs as well. IMAX Enhanced, we'll have more news on that later on in the year. And then Calmon as well, to ensure that uh, you guys uh, as well can ensure you can calibrate your uh, TVs quickly and easily with uh, Canon AutoCal. So what we want to really achieve is that uh, creator's intent being recreated in the home. One of the key technological developments that we talk about a lot is our picture processor. Uh, and X1 Ultimate is our flagship picture processor appearing in uh, ZG9, for example, AF9, AG9, and SG95. And what the X1 Ultimate will do is detect hundreds of objects on the screen. It uses object based uh, technologies, for example, object based super resolution, object based HDR remasters. So instead of looking at the picture as a whole, it will dive down and identify each of the different objects on the screen. And the net benefit of this is improved picture quality, better textures, better detail, more accurate detail, better enhancement for your picture quality. So the X1 Ultimate really packs in a huge amount of power and has been designed not just for 4K, but also for 8K uh, as well. So it's a crucial piece of technology. And it, of course, appears uh, on a number uh, of our key models. For example, we've got the X1 uh, X Ultimate appearing on the AG9, and we'll see a little bit more detail in a little while uh, around the technology in the AG9 as well. In addition, then, we have the XG95. This is our flagship 4K HDR full array LED model coming in a range of different screen sizes. Technology-wise, again, it's got the X1 Ultimate picture processor. And then additional key picture technologies, including full array LED backlight, extended dynamic range pro, and then X motion clarity, X wide angle, X reality pro, triluminous display, Netflix calibrated mode, and Dolby Vision, and Dolby Atmos coming later as well. But the kind of important technology I'd like to just mention a little bit further on this is that full array LED backlight. It's really crucial to uh, deliver that fantastic HDR picture quality. And here on the screen we can see the differences between a conventional LED edge backlight system and a full array LED backlight. So on the full array LED backlight, the big crucial difference is where the 
LEDs are positioned. They're positioned directly behind the screen to shine through the screen. Together with our extended dynamic range pro local dimming technology, it means we can get very accurate bright and dark scenes on the screen at the same time. Uh, and that gives you that incredibly dynamic contrast rich picture quality uh, that we all know and love today. In addition then, we also are talking about AK this year as well with our ZG9 that we announced at CES earlier this year. This will come in big screen sizes, 98 inch and 85 inch. And again, technology wise, we've got the X1 Ultimate Picture Processor. And in addition, those key picture technologies, including again, X wide angle, X motion clarity, we've got smooth motion, triluminous display, Netflix calibrated mode, Dolby Vision, and Atmos. I'd like to talk a little bit further about the uh, AKX Reality Pro and the AK Extended Dynamic Range with Backlight Master Drive. Of course, there's more to 8K than just simply resolution. We've got to think of the contrast, the brightness, the detail within the picture as well. And if we're completely honest, we know there isn't a huge amount of 8K content available at the moment. So that brings in the point of upscaling. Incredibly important that the TV can do a great job upscaling all the different types of resolution to near 8K quality. And we've got our newly introduced 8K X Reality Pro technology to do this. It uses a new 8K database to intelligently enhance whatever the signal is coming through. So standard definition, high definition, 4K, 8K even, is all analysed, compared against that database, and then the enhanced picture is output on the other side. So the big question is, of course, well, what's in that 8K database? So that AK database is actually made up of, first of all, decades worth of upscaling resolution uh, in lots of experience that we've brought through the last 20 uh, something years. Going right back to digital reality creation back in 1997 when we first introduced uh, a picture database. And this has developed over the last decades through uh, Vega Engine, Bravia Engine, X Reality Pro, 4K X Reality Pro, and now of course 8K X Reality Pro. But one of the important key things is the information contained in that database. Where does that come from? How does the TV know what 8K should look like? And thanks again to our sister companies, for example, Sony Pictures, but also Cine Alta, they make 8K cameras that are used in the movie industry. And we can learn a lot from those guys about what happens when 8K is recorded, what happens when it goes into the camera, how is noise introduced, and because we know what happens to the content after it's been recorded, we know how we can change that and improve it and enhance it, and we know what pure 8K should look like as well. So crucially important. In addition then, backlight master drive. So this is our uh, full array LED backlight, but our ultra dense full array LED backlight. It uses uh, precise LED module control, so we get more light precision, and also LED boost power, which is very important to give you those key bright areas in the picture. And also actually the design of the LED is different as well. It uses our calibrated beam LED design. So that will give you more accurate light and focus within the picture as well. So, in addition then, Backlight Master Drive can really, has the power to power through uh, an 8K screen. 8K is much more dense than we get from a 4K TV. So actually because of the pixel, stru pixel structure, it's more density. So light struggles to get through it in the same way. But with Backlight Master Drive, because we've got an incredible amount of power in there, uh, with AK Extended Dynamic Range Pro, the, the brightness really does shine through the screen to give you those bright highlights and beautiful overall brightness within the screen as well. Excellent. So that is our picture message. Um, just a very really nice little bit on the sound from picture reality as well. As I mentioned earlier, what we're trying to achieve is that immersive big screen experience. And when you go to the cinema, what you experience is sound coming directly from the screen. Because in the cinema, You've actually got speakers placed behind the screen. The screen itself has all of these little holes in it to allow the sound waves to go through. And that is part of that immersive cinematic experience. Now what we want to do is of course bring that cinema experience into the home as well. We've already done this 
course you remember acoustic surface audio on our OLED models originally introduced at the A1, where we use actuators to invisibly vibrate the screen so sound waves come directly from the screen. Very immersive. And we continue that on the AG9 and the AG8 for 2019. And for this year, we're also introducing the sound from picture idea uh, on our LED models, our LCD models as well, using a technology called acoustic multi-audio. So, if we look at how that works on the XG95 and the XG85, first of all, what we have are these sound positioning tweeters <coughs> located up around the back of the TV on either side. And those sound positioning tweeters combine with the conventional downfiring speakers down at the bottom of the screen. And it's a combination of all of those four speakers that actually create the impression that the sound is coming from the screen. And therefore, you get that more immersive cinematic experience. I'm going to do a little demonstration of this a little bit later on so you can hear it for yourselves. So that's on the XG95 <coughs> and the XG85. Acoustic multi audio on the ZG9 differs slightly. So, what we have in here instead, we've got front facing speakers, essentially four modules of front facing speakers made up of two mid range and one tweeter. Then, around the back, we've got our subwoofers located on the rear of the TV as well to give you that full, rich sound quality. And again, it's the combination of the location of those speakers and, of course, a very clever uh, DSP uh, to control all of that to create the impression that the sound is coming directly from the screen for that more immersive uh, audio experience. <coughs> uh, in addition on the ZG9, we also have the center speaker mode. So again, we introduced this last year on the AF9, where you can use the uh, TV as the center speaker in your home theater system. 5.1, 7.1, whatever it might be. And we've added that feature into the ZG9 as well. So again, you can wire this into your home theater system and use the TV as the center speaker. So you still get that immersive feeling of the sound coming directly from the screen. It's all very clever. Fantastic then, I uh, onto a little bit on design. Obviously we'll see the TVs later, we'll see the uh, 4K HDR models later, so we can talk a little bit more about the soft minimalism, the one state concept. But because we won't be seeing the 8K ZG9 later, I'll just tell you a little bit about the blade architecture. And the blade architecture comes, you can see we've got this blade-like design around the bezel on the screen, and also the blade-like design uh, on the stands as well. And this is four-man function, so not only does it look very cool, and in my opinion it looks very cool, but also serves a purpose as well. Uh, the blade design in the bezel will hide the speakers from view, so they're completely invisible, you can't see where they are. Also, it'll create an even darker black shadow around the screen, so your, your screen itself, the picture itself, will pop even more. Uh, and even as well, it'll work like uh, a diffuser as well, it'll diffuse the heat um, from the screen as well, because AK TVs can get quite warm, so it'll just help keep everything nice and cool. The stand design wise comes with uh, 85 inch, comes with a tabletop stand, and the 98 inch comes with both the tabletop and the floor stand as well, so you get both in the box. And uh, also around the back as well, we've got our sculpture rear panel design, and that's actually been inspired by the cave chambers, so those sound proof chambers with the uh, uh, different uh, left and right horizontal and the vertical um, uh, panels on the back to ensure that we don't get any vibration in the back panel, even at very high volume. And then we've also got uh, the very, very cool cable management built in as well, so all of your cables uh, are kept nice and hidden. Fantastic. Last thing then is, of course, user experience, and we continue the evolution of Android <coughs> TV. And this year, Android Oreo from launch is on the ZG9, AG9, XG95 and XG85. Uh, and you might remember from last year when we introduced Oreo on the AF9 uh, and the Z, uh, ZF9, it's a much more content-based content -based home user interface. So uh, much easier for finding your different bits of content in there. We've got the, uh, the Play Next section, which you can bookmark content that you want to watch later as well, which is super cool. Uh, and you can really customize the home screen to how you want it to look with regards to different channels that you can have in there. So you can choose what channels you have in your home screen and where they appear as well. You can edit according to your favorite apps. Uh, and all of the other 29 Android TVs will receive the Aria uh, update via uh, 
uh, firmware software, or software update uh, in the future as well. The final point I just want to raise, because uh, we know it's close to uh, everybody's heart, is the, uh, the remote control. So we're introducing uh, a new remote control. So the x 285 will have the new standard remote control, which is the black one on the left-hand side. And the AG9, z 9 and x 95 will all get the new premium remote control, which is the aluminium one on the right-hand side there. Very stylish looking. And uh, we'll hopefully have a closer look at these a little bit later as well. But just one thing I want to point out is uh, the new button layout as well. So we've done a lot of research about where the buttons should appear uh, on the remote control for ease of use as well. So for example, we've moved the uh, input uh, button from uh, new speed up the top left. Uh, now the input button is just here, so it's very simple to just move your thumb back and forth, go into your input, into your settings, home uh, and back as well. They're also Bluetooth controlled as well, so they're uh, initially semi-paired out of the box. Once you press one of the buttons, it will do the full pairing, uh, and then you can enjoy uh, changing your TV channels, not having to point the remote control at the TV. So, um, great advantage of Bluetooth, very fast, very stable connection, and of course you can do all of your voice uh, cool stuff with it as well. So good, that concludes uh, my session for today. So um, as usual, thank you very much for your attention and um, I will now pass back to uh, Melinda and she will give you uh, all of the information you need for dividing into groups and uh, uh, actually getting hands on and seeing the products for yourselves as well.